Hi guys, it's Alter here and fasten your belts because today we are going to speed paint a blood angel. As you can see, I have already primed my model in black. This will allow me to work from dark to light tones. I'm going to stick my model to a base in order to avoid touching it during the process because I'm going to use the airbrush so I don't want to mess up. We are going to start with a value sketch which is a version of the model in black and white and then we are going to cover it with transparent colors. Using ivory for this, as you can see the light placing is quite easy when you start from a black model because you have the highlights already in place. Just put the model in the light position you prefer and cover the highlights with few brush strokes. As you can see I'm doing here. I am just covering the highlights that I see directly on the model. The light source will be my lamp. And this is the easiest way to understand the light placement. The first layer will be a little bit diluted which is okay because it allowed us to increase the highlights in the middle of this area making the result more smooth now with white surface primer i'm going to blend what we did before and create the base to apply color upon I like to use primer instead of inks because the result is a little bit grainy and it leaves some textury feeling to the finished model which I like it but if you want a even more smooth result you can use white ink for this. This will also make the color more resistant. And I think for army painting it's a good thing to consider. As you can see quite easily I am going to blend the previous step. As you may have noticed I didn't paint the back because I want to paint it a little bit darker. So I am going to apply a little bit of black in the airbrush so you don't need to clean the airbrush between those two steps this will help me to control the back to leave them in shadows and don't make them look like OSL Usually the areas that are in the shadows have a more diffuse light so I am spraying the color a little bit farther than the steps we did before. The result should be softer in the back areas. I'm working volumetrically, thinking at the volumes of the armor, like the head is a sphere, the legs are cylinders, etc. And this is how it looks like. As you can see, we have a um, separation between light and shadows. Now I am going to outline my model 
especially Space Marine has a lot of armor plates separated by lines that will need to be filled with a dark color to stand out and read better. And for this I am going to use a 50-50% mix of retarded medium and black color. Make sure not to add water inside it or you will break the surface tension of the paint. And a special weapon for my outline, it's nail art brush. Due to its long bristles, such kind of brushes can help you to follow the crevices without any effort. As you can see I am using retarder medium and black because the color will stay wet for about 3 to 5 minutes and in this time I can correct my mistakes with a clean brush adding just a little bit of water as you can see I'm using a very old brush but it works fine and the black will be removed easily outlining is important to read the figure you don't have to outline everything but as you can see on the fingers it's fundamental to read every single finger and to define the model This is how it looks like so far. Now let's add some color to this guy. I'm going to start with the back, applying my beloved Ultramarine Blue from Ferrero Apa Colors, but you can use a Scale 75 artist version which has already ultramarine pigments in it, you can read it on the label. I am going to use airbrush for this. Make sure to apply thinner before and then paint on your airbrush or it will clog. Test it on paper and let's add uh, several layers to obtain a nice blue for my shadows. I want to set my model in a blue dark environment, urban maybe, so there will be a nice contrast between blue shadows and orangey red highlights. I am going to spray a little bit also on the shadows in the front part of the model. Now my trick is to use fluor red. I want my blood angels to look like Ferrari, more or less. That really hot red, very aggressive. So I'm going to start with fluor red paint and matte varnish, which is important. Then I am going to apply a few drops of red ink to make the model look red, basically. As you can see, mixing red with blue, you will obtain purple. So don't be scared to apply some red even on the back. It's not really a mistake. So now I am focusing on surrounding the highlights. We did before we in the first step. You can see I'm trying to work around the highlights. This will create nice volumes. As you can see when you touch the side it will turn purple so you don't have to be worried about it. And little by little I'm going to make it look red. Now from afar I am spraying a soft layer of red all over the model so it won't look orange in the highlights. And 
and here we have a nice armor now I am going to do a step I really like the specular highlights this will make my model look like shiny and I need to be glossy the first application will be a little bit diluted so you can obtain lines that will blend just by moving the brush and collecting the color in a spot then with the color I already have in my airbrush we used before I am going to soften this effect in some areas it's very fast don't worry and then I am using again I see yellow taking a blob of color to apply it and cover the most bright areas of the model as you can see I, I did a mistake it's normal I want to show you how to correct it just use another brush load it with water and clean I think it's important to learn how to correct your mistakes because it's impossible to avoid doing them just apply thick paint to make it read as white basically now it's time to cover the areas like the belt, the under armor and I'm using black for this painting the details ok now we can start to paint the black areas to highlight them I'm going to use sunny skin tone sorry I forgot to record that part but basically the trick here is to mix just a little bit of sunny skin tone with black obtaining a warm grey the secret to highlight black is to increase your value slowly so you need to add a little bit of sunny skin tone into black color mix them and apply a layer then do the same again with another little bit of sunny skin tone in this way you will obtain a gradient that you won't correct later because it's just gradual and soft now with the same color i'm going to paint the metallic parts the details just mix more sunny skin tone and less black this time obtaining a light gray focus the color in the middle of the object you want to highlight so the sides will remain dark here on the bullet i have applied a secondary reflection which will make it read like metal and then with just pure sunny skin tone I am going to paint the highlights and the contrast between bright highlights and black will create an effect of a metallic object we haven't finished yet with this mix I'm going to use this also for painting the base I want him to look like in an urban ambient so grey ground will be okay and I am going to kind of dry brush in but to create a light area slightly on the left 
it's a technique in the middle between dry brush and stippling. Now it's time to paint the light effects. And for this we need to create a white base to apply colors upon Now with thick layers I am going to apply fluo green which is quite transparent even AK version just two coats will be okay to obtain a good green effect green will contrast a lot with red so it's okay to have it in small areas Now it's time to paint the plasma gun. I want to obtain a emerald blue green glow. As you can see I am surrounding the white areas with emerald. If you go upon them it's not a problem. Just by stippling with an old brush. This will represent the outer glow of the plasma coil now with surface primer I am going to create the glow of the plasma coils And I'm going to color the glow with blue-green. Here I am increasing the power of the plasma coil in few selected areas. To make it really glow. The secret is to reduce the brightest areas and to surround them with darker colors. So I am going to apply just a little bit of emerald again surrounding the light. We are almost done here, just a few corrections, just a few refinement very quickly on the base and a little bit of shading with ultramarine blue. This will uh, darken the model and leave the head of a brighter color to attract the attention of the viewer. We need to consider this to paint attractive models basically. And to finish it I'm going to paint the trim of the base with surface primer so it will be practically indestructible. And this is the final result. In the next tutorial I will, I will show you how to paint the head. This will require a little bit of time. But for main characters will be okay to spend a little bit of time on the face and that's it thank you so much and see you next time